My name is Cassie Summers. Welcome to the Curious Universe podcast. Hey, you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here on today's show. Um, I want to talk about bodies a little bit today and well, it's going to be like bodies and money and being comfortable and your infinite being, all of those things <laughs> kind of somehow I think I'm going to wrap it up in a pretty little bow in this show. That's my target. Anyways, we're going to see what happens. So, uh, I love, you probably know this by now talking about the conversation of money. You know, I actually really love talking about things that most people don't love to talk about. I love talking about sex. I love talking about masturbation. I love talking about orgasm and I love talking about money and I love talking about things like gaslighting. It's bizarre. I love talking about these kind of maybe controversial things that we're not supposed to talk about. Well, I do. I do talk about them and I love talking about them. And you just notice my fan is like, creating a, a little updraft here. It's kind of fun. Uh, but today we're going to talk about, oh, this is actually, I'm seeing how this is going to wrap it together. So good. So good. You ready? We're going to talk about the difference between making your body comfortable and making your being comfortable. So I've talked about this in other shows. Uh, we have our miraculous little little cute bodies here and then we have an infinite being some people call it a soul a spirit whatever whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter to me um i call it infinite being it has a lot less judgment attached to that so it works for me um as you know i look to get out of judgment as much as possible in my consciousness journey because consciousness is simply um where everything exists and nothing is judged so that's my target. So we have where, where do you put most of your energy and effort? Is it into making your body comfortable? It's my question to you, because we're really, everything I talk about on the show is to kind of instigate you exploring your own consciousness to get curious about yourself and, um, for me to give you maybe like little starting points. But my hopes is that as you're exploring this show, as you're listening, you, you are having your own cool awareness as you are, you're accessing yourself and what's going on for you so that you can create a greater life and living for yourself. So you can, um, learn to enjoy yourself more or discover what works for you greater and uh, what kind of life and living you can create from there. That's what Curious Universe is all about. So when I ask these questions, I hope you can go in and, and get present with you and look at what is true for you. So do you put more attention, more energy, more priority on making your body come? or your being comfortable. Now, let me explain a little bit more, What maybe some examples of what that even means. So if you look at your body being comfortable, um, what kind of bed do you sleep in at night? Is it a comfortable bed? I mean, your body's there for eight hours, some, some people more, some people a little less, just depending, um, a day. Is your bed really nurturing and comfortable for your body? Um, clothing. Is your clothing comfortable? Now, I'm not saying, do you wear sweatpants and baggy t-shirts? Because some of us have decided that comfortable clothing are kind of like sloppy clothing. But is your body physically comfortable? So is it like, does the size fit? <laughs> like, does it fit your body? But also, does it give, is your body vibrationally comfortable? 
if there's a physically comfortable, but is it comfortable in that item? The clothing is actually a great example. We're going to go into that a little bit more. Um, is your body comfortable with the amount of food that you eat, whether it's too less or it's too much? Is your body comfortable with that? So these are the, these priorities. Now here's if you're making your being comfortable, is that you don't choose anything like that's too new or something that you think you might fail at because that could be really uncomfortable. It, your body's not uncomfortable, but your being would be uncomfortable um, to maybe get into a new relationship when you've been burnt in the past could be you're uncomfortable for your being, right? I read something really brilliant in a book called uh, The Advanced How to Become Money Workbook by Gary Douglas. Love that book. Changed my life incredibly. And one of the things he says in there is that a... Um, uh, infinite beings aren't comfortable. They are expansive. But we put so much energy and time into making our being comfortable when it actually isn't. It's not, it's about being expansive, not comfortable. It's not a little cuckoo. It's actually more about your body being comfortable and your being being expansive. So some of those uncomfortable things for our being are actually those items that are going to allow our being to be more expansive, catalyze the expansion of our being. And we have these things kind of like set up so that to tell us like not to do that, that that's not good, that that's not safe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You do. You do. I can sense it. So first, I get we get clear on these two, the body and the being comfortability thing. And then let's see, let's see how far we can go today together. So um, when I, I spent a large part of my life hiding, I was in an 11 year um, gaslighting abusive relationship with a man that dynamically uh, like abused me emotionally and mentally. And, and I don't mean to make light of that. I've just kind of moved a lot, like moved quite far beyond it. So the lightness for me is, is the acknowledgement of it. And luckily I can, I've come out of being a victim of it, which is really cool, really empowering. But in that, in that awareness, through those 11 years, to avoid the abuse, I just started to try and hide more and more, thinking that that, that was going to change this. So I would hide parts of my body. I would hide um, in, like with the, the hairstyle I had, with the way that I carried myself, with even where I would go and who I would talk to. There was this element of hiding going on. Now, was that comfortable for my body? The clothes that I was wearing, they were comfortable in the sense of they were like loose. <laughs> they, um, they were like very stretchy things. So, so from that physical, yeah, my body was an under stress um, from something being too tight, something not fitting, something being like, you know, like really uncomfortable material. This is actually really nice soft material. Uh, you know, that just kind of like grates on your body. It wasn't from that space, but my body is actually more comfortable. It's like, I noticed the relaxation will show up when I'm wearing something that's congruent and something that actually allows me to be seen, which is funny because it's the opposite of what I was trying to create. So here I am because I'm so, I'm, I'm so uncomfortable with the, I'm avoiding all this awareness of, of the abuse going on, right? So I'm avoiding it dynamically. No, 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 it's fine. Making up excuses, telling myself all oh, this is okay. So to avoid that awareness I had to suppress my being because 
as I expanded my being, I started to become aware of things that I didn't want to be aware of. And that was that space of being uncomfortable, right? And that could show up with even wearing. So if I would wear like a dress, like it wouldn't even be that fancy. I would get so many people would be like, oh, wow. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Like, I don't want all this attention. I, why is everyone looking at me? Ah! What was actually going on was all this energy that was being flown at me was giving me more and that I was expanding into more, which was becoming uncomfortable because I was becoming more aware and I was doing my darndest to be less aware. There comes now, now what's so funny is your, your body can create physical things based on this. Um, but in that example, was my body actually more comfortable in that dress? But me, the being was uncomfortable. That's what's light and true for me. But I was all my attention, I was putting on trying to make my infinite being comfortable rather than allowing it to be as expansive as it is. And then asking my body what would be comfortable for it. What would be comfortable for you, body? And when we go into, I think I've done a show on body communication. You ask your body, what would you like to wear every day? Would you like to eat? Who would you like to be around? And if you include this um, energy of with that, looking to make, what if you were actively looking to make your body more comfortable? Looking to make it more comfortable with the clothing that you wear. Maybe it's, maybe your body really loves silks or organic cottons or bamboo or love the feel of bamboo clothing. Um, what would be really, truly comfortable for your body? I, I remember I would wear um, jewelry. I love jewelry and I didn't have a lot of money. So I'd buy, you know, that kind of costume jewelry. And my, uh, <laughs> my body has like a little bit of an allergy to kind of the cheaper metals, which is funny. I think it's so cute. And so it would be uncomfortable. Like my ears would get red, but I was like, I'm wearing this because I think it's pretty. Um, until I eventually started to actually buy things that were gold, um, things that were real silver. It was more comfortable for my body. What if, what if you used money to make your body more comfortable and then you actually just allowed your body to be the expansiveness that it is? And if you were like me and you're avoiding something, you're avoiding being aware of something, what's going to show up is you're going to think you're uncomfortable when you get into that expansive space, when you're expanding beyond what you've allowed yourself to be. What if you acknowledged, oh, and infinite beings are not comfortable. They're expansive. That line from Gary Douglas, like it just opened up my awareness dynamically to something that I was choosing and allowing myself to choose when I know that I'm choosing something that I would have called uncomfortable from a being perspective, not a body perspective. If your body is uncomfortable, there might be something going on. Your body's saying, Hey, we need to get out of here. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to do this with this person. I don't want to wear this clothing. Your body might be communicating. If your body is uncomfortable, please ask questions. Please acknowledge that and take care of your body. Take care of your body. What if you you could support your body in being as comfortable as it truly would like to be? with the food that you eat, with the bed that you sleep in, with the clothing that you wear, with everything that has to do with it, literally everything, even like stop hugging people that your body doesn't want to hug. Like there's a difference between, again, if your being is uncomfortable with it or your body is uncomfortable with it, listen to your body. And then with the being stuff, when my being what I would have called uncomfortable, but now, I, now I'm now i more aware of what's going on. 
if, if I was getting that sensation of, oh my, this is uncomfortable for my being, I now acknowledge, oh, but beings aren't comfortable. They're expansive. So what am I expanding into? And how much ease can I have as I expand into this? But it also, in that acknowledgement, you can give up this quest of, of making your being comfortable. It's about your body being comfortable and your being being expansive. And you might actually find that that's a lot more, it's a, it's a greater contribution to your body. And a lot of the wonderful things that you've been asking for that maybe haven't been showing up or maybe you've been taking a while to show up might play into this dynamic. It, sometimes we actually have to expand our being beyond this, like whatever little uh, zone that you've allowed it to expand into to have those things show up. Those, if you want a, an explosively exciting, adventurous, wonderful, expansive life, you have to allow your being to expand into more. If you want more, your being needs to expand into more. If you would like to have more in your life, if you would like more, your being requires to expand more. That's <laughs> just how it is. And so if you are walking around trying to make your being comfortable all the time, then how much are you contracting? What are you actually doing to make your being comfortable? And what are you choosing to make your body comfortable? And which has been the priority for you? Where, where have you put more attention? Most people I've talked to have put very little attention on making their body comfortable. And those that do are like shamed. <laughs> I know someone I grew up with and she was always looking for comfort with her body. And she was like told she was picky. She was told like nothing was ever good enough for her. Like just shame, shame, shamed for it. Well, I would like to please clear everywhere you bought that that was something shameful that that nourishing your body, that making your body comfortable is shameful, is kind of ridiculous, <laughs> right? It's like, this is your body. You just have one life with this body, and then this body is done. For what reason would you not make it as comfortable as possible? And in that comfort, what is your body capable of creating with you? Ah. Yeah. So how comfortable can you be? So here's a little exercise you can do. You know, if you watch the show, I love exercises. I love making lists. I love all that fun stuff. Oh my gosh. My, my jumper matches my pillow right now. I just am very excited. <laughs> wow. That was not planned. My friends, that just happened. That's, that's fantastic. Um, exercise. So something I did is I, I have uh, this really beautiful notebook and I sat down and I just asked, what can I add to my life that would make my body more comfortable? And I just started writing. And some of the things that like, there were some obvious things like, oh, I could this and I could do that. And I could blah, 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 like could get a new bed. My bed's actually quite comfortable. But it could get new bedding, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of light. Oh, I could get a new pillow. I've had this one for a while. Okay. And, like, so these things were popping up, and then unexpected things were, were popping up. Um, the clothing thing and the different types of jewelry thing um, and the location, like, of my home. Spending more time with the earth would make my body more comfortable. Spending more time with certain people would make my body more comfortable really cool awareness. So I started to just add this list and it ended up going for pages and pages. I was like, wow, cool. I'm com and I committed to, to actualizing that for my body, no matter how long it takes for me to get the list and the list will probably grow as I become more aware. Because when you ask that question, you start to become more aware of what you could add to your life 
that would create more comfort for your body. And then it also, your body starts to become more aware of it because the more you ask your body questions, its consciousness actually grows. So it's becoming more conscious of, oh, this actually creates comfort for me. Oh, this creates comfort for me. Oh, this creates comfort for me. And would you be willing to explore that and start adding these things to your life? And it, you don't have to put any pressure on yourself and put a time frame into it. It might take you a while to start adding these things. But what if you just did when you could, when it worked for you, uh, your own timing, start to add these things. And as you add these things to your life that create more comfort for your body, you might notice Dun, 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 that money flows are going to increase. Now, that might make, not make any sense because most likely you're going to be buying some stuff, some new stuff for your body, right? But money and bodies are actually more connected. And we're not going to go too much into this in this show. We'll do another show on that. They're actually more connected than we've ever been told. <sighs> Yeah. And your body can actually contribute to money showing up to create that comfort. So you might notice that money starts showing up as if by magic to support that, which creates your body to be more comfortable. And you might, to create your body to be more comfortable, require to to take some of the stronghold off your infinite being where you, you were trying so desperately to make it comfortable because you might be expanding into a new space, a new possibility, new awareness. Mm, yeah. So what if money can show up and you can ask it, ask the consciousness of money. Hey, money, will you show up to create more comfort for my body? I would like my body to be so comfortable. I would like to use my money to create more comfort for my body. And if judgments come up for you about that, like, oh, I shouldn't do that. Oh, that would make me picky. Oh, I can handle it. It's okay if I sleep on the couch or on the floor. Well, yeah, maybe it is okay once or twice. But where are you making that? Where are you making, enforcing your body to make something okay for it? That maybe isn't very comfortable for it. Because you want to be polite, because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, because you don't want to judge yourself. You don't want other people to judge you. But, what if your body is more valuable than all of that? What if your body is more precious than avoiding judgment? I hope it is. And if not, well, what if we could get to that together? And you could get there yeah, on your own. Your body is this miraculous gift that you get to be with this lifetime. And infinite beings aren't comfortable anyways. So if anyone should be comfortable, it should be your body. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring this topic with me, uh, jumping around into all these different spaces. It's really fun for me. And uh, you're amazing. I guess I'll see you in the next show. Thank you for exploring the curious universe with me. Your curiosity matters. And what if, together, we could create a greater, more curious world?